the world. Wham! <laughs> Hi, I'm Henry Rosewall and welcome to the Hen House. Joining me today on the sofa is the gorgeous, incomparable Danielle Ritalik from Iconic Hair and Beauty. Hey! Massive round of applause, huge, mm -hmm. huge round of applause. Now, in honour for Iconic Hair and Beauty, I have just put on this little number. It's looking amazing, actually. Just a little daytime something something, little throwaway. Bit of volume. Little reveal. So I can do a few quickly, you know, whoosh, whoosh, a few of those. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Wham! <laughs> Now, I've dragged you in by your ankles today to talk to me about Iconic Hair and Beauty. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to have a bit of a chat about your job and about the other jobs there available. So, you have been there for quite some time now. Yeah. What it is you do at Iconic Hair and Beauty? What are you doing over there day to day? So, I am Iconic's beauty therapist. So, day to day, day for me is I start the day, come in, set everything up, mm -hmm. turn my room on, include my pots, I've got wax pots and things like that, right, exciting. Yeah. Um, and then normally straight in 9am clients, so we do a lot of nails in Iconic, lashes, um, waxing, uh, the occasional massage and facial. So you're overseeing all this? Is, is this? No, this is what I actually do. This is you taking this part in it as well This is me taking part in it and providing these Getting your hands dirty, yeah. getting involved, getting loving involved. it. Getting involved, all the creams and lotions. You started with that, didn't you? You know, when you started at Iconic years ago, we'll get into it, you were very practical, you were doing then, and mm. I think you've carried that through, haven't you? And you're still active and you're still doing. Oh yeah, I'm still doing everything pretty much. Mm. Um, I'm just, we do elements of training, so like if one of the girls wants a little bit of like a catch up on a treatment, um, we always like practice with each other sometimes. Oh, that's quite nice and It's handy, because well. there's always, in beauty, there's always new things up and coming. And I think it's always in beauty happy to have a practice as well, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, 100%. Better to do more than less. It's practice, practice, practice. So saying about you being iconic, how long have you been there? And tell me a bit about your career path. So I started Iconic when I was 16, um, studying my MVQ level two, and then I went on to do my level three, and then I did another two level threes the following year. After that, I went full time. They took me on as full time therapist. Been there ever since, and just progressed from there. Really, doing um, different training, um, meeting different people. I've learned a lot about the hair side as well, which has been quite nice. So, like hair and beauty do go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. So it's nice that um, being in a hair and beauty salon, you learn both sides of the trade, which is really nice. So touching back on there, on the training, you said, mm. um, how did you find the training process? Was it easy? You know, are you all in the same boat as such? Yeah, so obviously I trained at college, mm -hmm. um, which was amazing, and you definitely learn the basics. But I don't think it's until you get into a salon that you really understand how a salon work. Yeah, I think until you get that environment with it yeah. and to meet the other girls that also work in that environment, you don't quite... No, you don't. And like the college do teach you slightly differently to how a salon do carry out mm -hmm. treatments. Um, like you say, when I started when I was 16, you're taught a certain way at college. But when you move over into a salon, they do tweak certain yeah, treatments. Just a few things. Yeah. yeah, nothing ma major, but I think it was the best thing for me, and I would recommend it for anybody, um, if you are starting out doing an MVQ level two, to get um, either like a placement or a Saturday job, um, volunteer work, just to see how a salon's run, because it's very different to how it's It's very, trained. it's different, yeah, and you're in the cleanliness of a classroom, aren't mm. you? You're learning, you've not got general public or people, which things can be very yeah, different sometimes. Yeah, it's different. So, going back to that, you've got two, I think, exciting roles coming up at Iconic that you're looking to fill. Yes. And how do I apply, what are the details? <laughs> because these sounds fabulous. This is so exciting. So for us, we haven't um, recruited in a really long time. So we're looking for a senior stylist and a beauty therapist, um, either full-time or part-time roles. We're not, um, we don't have a preference, whatever is available mm -hmm. for them. Um, the senior therapist, we're looking for someone with roughly three years experience plus, um, just a confident, bubbly, happy person. Um, there's no real, you could have been. You could have worked anywhere. Do you know yeah, what I mean? We're, yeah. we're quite open 
Um, same with the beauty therapist, um, MVQ and level three qualified if they can, but mainly it's like your nails we do a lot of, um, waxing treatments, um, things so like that. So what's the process here of the employment? process tell me so, so when somebody's going for it they've applied they're in there mm. they're in the system what's happening next so what we tend to do once someone's applied we'd invite them in for like a little interview so like a little chit chat Perfect. get to know them view the cv see what they like to do um just get the basics covered mm -hmm. from that we can really understand what kind of therapist the person is because you do get different therapists, people who enjoy massage, people who enjoy nail extensions, others who enjoy waxing services or eye enhancements. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to get that basis. From there, you then invite them in to do a trade test. Not every place does trade tests, but we really like to do it. So What's we, a trade test? Sorry, tell me about that. A trade test. A trade test is basically, so say I have applied for a beauty therapist job. Um, I would come in and they would say, we would like you to do a nail paint, mm -hmm. um, a waxing treatment, right, yeah. and a spray tan, for instance. Um, and you would do these on random people. Um. Well, if you ever need a volunteer, I'm happy to go for the triple threat for the spray tan. <laughs> so you can really like gauge how that person interacts with the client for one. Mm -hmm. The actual treatment itself, the ability of it, how well it's carried out, um, if they give aftercare, um, things like that. You know, you can just really understand. Again, I think it's those aspects that you don't specifically find in a classroom when you're mm. training. You're not going to learn all of these things no. that that trade test brings with it. This is the thing. Definitely. And I think it's, it's just for us to really gauge how you interact mm -hmm. as well and how you deal with certain situations or we might throw in look we want you to do a french manicure which is like the little smile line on the end yep. of the nail okay, yep. or a little glitter yes. and see how you would carry that out if that makes sense because i think everybody's different everybody's got their strengths yeah. haven't they and i think you can play to that with this sort of role that's what's so exciting about working in a team is that you pick up things from other people so like jenna the other therapist she's taught me things that i would never have thought to no. do and along the way meeting other people These they little teach tricks you things. of the trade yeah, yeah that you it's pick really up. fun Exciting. so what about product training because i wouldn't have a clue over there with all the potions and concoctions so iconic's really cool in the fact most of the um training's done in house so for instance, myself or Jenna, the other therapist, mm -hmm. we would be teaching the therapist about our products, about our routines. Oh, okay. So it's coming from experience as yeah, well, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, so they really see how it's the iconic way, we call it. Um, and we can teach them our routines. Hairdressing side, they do things slightly a bit differently um, as they have a huge colour range. Yeah. Um, so they tend to do like a lot of Zoom calls and things like that. But like you said, you just pick up a lot from each other. You learn that way. Uh, it's that shared skill, isn't it, in that mm. sense, where you work as that family, as a unit almost, as working together. As a little family together. unit. So speaking of which, you've had Rihanna join the team. We have. How's she getting on? Do you know what? Rihanna is fitting in so well. She's just joined our team and just settled in so well. Listening to clients, understanding their needs and their wants. Um, and I think that's really, really important is to be a good listener. Um, in what we do. Um, yeah, she's just fitted right in. She's been really, really busy. She's actually off camping at the moment. Oh, she's having the time. Yeah. <laughs> having, I'll leave that to the camping side of things to her. <laughs> now, I know you've also had a bit of a lick of paint over there in the salon, mm. a bit of a refurb. What's happening there? Because I think there's more work coming up soon. So yeah, both treatment rooms are painted now. We're just waiting okay. on the final finishing touches. Um, and then it's the main salon that's not going to be painted till about the start of November. Mm -hmm. But slowly little tweaks are being made about where we want certain things, new things, shelvings popping up, new furniture's coming in, old furniture's going out. Because so. I seen you this morning, you were over there cleaning chandeliers in yeah. the sink so they were already <laughs> having their winter clean they're already bait. getting the chandeliers down they were. getting on with them giving them a soak i think just like the small things like that can make a real big difference as it's well it's that attention to detail isn't it yeah think, definitely. yeah no that's understandable so we are now in september we're in officially what i would call spooky season for me it's halloween thank you very much but i know a lot of people will be thinking of christmas and <laughs> what their plans are for the big day. 
So have we got any Christmas opening hours yet? So we actually spoke about Christmas last week. So I think it's all being finalised now. So fingers crossed through the... I'm going to say by the end of this month, we'll have Christmas hours out. You're going to have the big reveal. The big reveal. So everybody can get planning, get it booked in, get the evening slots booked in as oh, well. Oh, yeah, that's what it's all They're about. Be popular. Mm, get, get that lot booked popular. in. Yeah. You'll be there ready and waiting. Mold wine, mince pies, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine. I can't wait. I just love all the Christmas nail art. It's so exciting, like people having the snowflakes, the glitter. Just any excuse, isn't it? That's yeah. what we need. We need an excuse for it. We, we really do. do. And I think this year people will go all out mm -hmm. because we've missed out so much last year. I think people this year will be like, I want these things And I done. think they're completely entitled to as well. I think, do what you want this year, go for it. Whack your Christmas nails on now <laughs> if you want. Give her a call, she'll get you booked in next week. We'll get those Christmas <laughs> acrylics done, no problem. Don't you worry, you deserve it. <laughs> now, I'm going to bring this around now to a bit more Danielle news. How's everything going? Have we got any big news? So, all's going really well. Um, I'm having a little baby. <gasps> hey! Um, so yeah, um, I'm pregnant, so I'm really, really excited and it's one of the reasons we're looking for another therapist so we can train them up and get them going because um, I have a big clientele to be taken yes, on. Yes, you do. Which is exciting. Um, so yeah, can't wait. So that's exciting stuff. That's very exciting yeah. stuff. So no holidays for you now though because no. you're going to be getting ready going to be flat out getting ready for it which is exciting it's nice that i'll have especially like the last christmas to be able to have that oh, busy yes, christmas yeah. before i go off that's true so yeah you've nice. got to think about that time scale haven't you mm, so definitely. yeah you're going to be making the most of it this year and like i want to be able to meet our new therapist and settle them in mm -hmm. and make sure that they're comfortable and meet all our clients because it is like one giant family so yeah um, you'll feel feel happier knowing you can go Put your feet up for five yeah. minutes, just five minutes. <laughs> just five short just minutes. Just five short minutes, knowing that they're all in capable hands. Definitely. And everybody's happy. Definitely. So where can we keep up to date with Iconic News? Because we're going to want to know about those Christmas details. We're going to want to know about the refurb work. Where can we find Iconic? The best thing is our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So Iconic Cornwall, Iconic Hair and Beauty. Um, that's the biggest place you can email us we do have an email so email we're pretty and what about applying for jobs here um so again like you say we are on indeed okay that's yeah one of the ones um we you can actually apply through facebook now they've facebook. got like a little click link which is really cool clicky, so clicky. facebook it's as easy as facebook you know mm. email send us a cv give us through. a telephone call have a chat have, have a, coffee. a chat we're yeah quite happy. Come we just want to meet people you know we want to get it going yeah and get started, get the ball rolling. Get the ball rolling. Well, we're happy to do that for you today and put the word out for you. That's Thank no you. problem at all. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in and having a little chat. We're doing a little couple of these, couple of these, <laughs> couple of these. <laughs> No, honestly, thank you so much for coming in. I no, know thank you for having me. You had me. to have half a lunch and put it back down, so I have no doubt you're going to go off and gobble up the rest. I am, yeah, you guessed right. You're quite happily, that's fine. But no, honestly, you've been wonderful. Oh, thank you. I've really enjoyed it. It's good to spread the word. It's good to spread the word. So that was author, supermodel, what else are you? <laughs> Astronaut, uh, extraordinaire, <laughs> entrepreneur, Danielle Ritalik, joining me, Henry Rosewell on the sofa here at the Hen House today. Uh, you have been wonderful.